Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. In this video, let's see one important property of blog in Azure storage account that is content MD5. All right. So this content MD5 property, uh, when you create a blob in the storage account, this content MD5 property will have hash key generated. So this hash key never be changed for that specific blob until there is a change in the content. All right. So that way this um, and our content MD5 will secure the blob content. Uh, if there is a change in the content of the blob, the hash key for this content MD5 property will be changed. First, let me take you guys into storage account and we'll see how it is changing if there is a change in the content. All right. So I'm into my storage account. I got one development container. Within that, I got sales data directory. So within this directory, I got no blobs at all at this moment i'm gonna upload one blob for my local machine so sales data set this is a csv file that i'm gonna upload let me straight away go ahead and upload so once this blob is uploaded straight away let's get into the properties of that blob and see that specific property all right under these properties we got many fields in here URL, last modified date, creation time, version ID, type, size, and access tiers. There are many other fields as well. All the way, if you go down, there is another field called content MD5, and it has got hash key generated. All right. So there'll be, by default, when you upload the blob into storage account, there'll be hash key generated that you could see under this property content MD5. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste this hash key in notepad just for reference. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to straight away go ahead and delete this file and re-upload again and see if there is any change in the content MD5 hash key. I'm going to upload this file again without any change. I'm not changing anything in the file. I'm straight away just going and uploading it again. All right, it's been done. Now let me get into the properties. If you look at the hash key under content MD5 field, so seems there is no change at all. Let me paste it here and compare. So there is no change at all. So what I'm going to do again, deleting this blob or still I can keep it in the storage account that's not an issue and going ahead and copying this file I'm gonna paste this here this file I'm gonna rename it to a different name I'm gonna say test same file no change in the content but just I renamed the file into a different name. All right. So not the same file I renamed. I just created a copy of that. But I, got, I changed the name to underscore test. I'm going to upload it again. I would expect still there won't be any change in the content MD5 hash key because I haven't done any changes in the content. So let's get into the properties of this file all right so there is no change at all in the content md5 hash key let me paste it here okay so in next step what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep this file as is getting into my folder sample data under sales data this is our file so i'm just opening this file and changing the content of this file i'm not making any major change for this first row under this field that is is holiday currently it is true i'm gonna change it to false let's see saving it all right it's been saved So now I'm going to upload this file, which has some content changed in there. 
so let's see if different hash key being generated or same hash key still exist i would expect different hash key to be generated because there is a change in the content if there is no change in the hash key it, it won't make sense at all because though content is changed if hash key is not changed so that won't you know help us at all i would expect there is a change all right so there is a change in the content md5 hash key let me paste it here all right so until there is a change in the blob the hash key never be changed for content md5 property all right so definitely this is going to be important property in in next video what i'm going to do i'm going to use this property in my file ingestion pipeline in adf so the functionality that i wanted to implement is i wanted to compare each blobs content md5 hash key with previous you know a previously loaded file md5 content hash key so every day i'm loading the data from these files i wanted to compare the current blob content md5 hash key with the file which is loaded previously which has been tracked in my sql table i wanted to compare both the hash keys if there is a change for the same file if there is a change in md5 hash key then only i wanted to proceed with data load if there is no change that says that there is no change in the content if there is no change in the content why should i load it again i should not load i need to skip that file load so that's what i'm going to implement in next video let's see how we can use this property in adf and check compare if there is a change in the content then only proceed with data load if there is no change in the content compared to the previous load i don't want to load that file again i wanted to straight away skip it let's see how we can implement that functionality in coming video all right so thanks for watching my video we'll meet again in next video until then bye bye thank you